Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung A16 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So to get started you want to click on the button right here and then find your desired language from the list. Next moving on we have uh, for your review we have end user license agreement which you do need to agree to by checking the box right over here. Uh, you can also tap on details to read exactly what you are agreeing to. Moving on to the next page. Uh, we can uh, set up our device easily using other and Androids, Galaxy, iPad, iPhones, and uh, so on. Or you can just set it up manually without the gimmicky use of other devices. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Um, here you can connect to network. If this is a brand new device, I believe you might be actually forced into connecting to it. Uh, but because this device was already set up before, I can skip it. Uh, it also gives me a pop-up, a skip Wi-Fi setup, and Wi-Fi is uh, required to connect to internet, uh, like, no, duh. Uh, install software updates and use device uh, protection features. Interesting to know that without internet, you have no protection on the device and with this logic. Which begs the question, what the hell are you doing? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna skip this anyway, because it's just load of BS. Uh, now, because I did skip inserting a SIM card, which didn't even show up for some reason, and uh, the network uh, Wi-Fi connection, Date and time is not set automatically, so I would need to fix it up if it's incorrect. And here we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and agnostic data. You can turn all of those off if you want to, but it, it's Google, so they will most likely gather data one way or another. So it's either if you agree to it or if they're going to do it behind your back. Uh, here we have protect your phone, so we can select a pin pattern password, fingerprint, and face recognition. Now if you're planning to use any of the biometrics like face recognition and fingerprint, you will always be required to select a physical way of unlocking the device, that be pin pattern password. And the reason for that is if something would happen to your fingerprint or your face, or both, you would lose access to that device, hence that would leave you with uh, well, the forced pin pattern password which can utilize no matter what happens to your biometrics. And additionally, you don't have to protect your device if you don't want to, though I don't recommend it. Sensing services, uh, service legal information. I can go over these. Uh, these are primarily all optional, so you don't have to agree to almost all of them outside of just the terms and conditions right over here. And have Samsung services, uh, service permissions. So I'm just gonna turn that off. No need to give permissions to Samsung if it doesn't deliberately require it. Um, choose your display mode, light or dark mode. Finish, and this will take us to the home screen. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.